Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the top 5 easiest premium tanks to play in World of Tanks Blitz. So just like the other ones, I am not going to be including anything under tier 5 along with also these are collector tanks. Those also um, count, but uh, I'm also, so the other ones I'm going to do is top 5 hardest tanks to play in the, the premiums and then I'm going to do uh, basically the same thing as I've done with these two last, the two last videos, this video and the following video. I'm gonna do that again with top five best tanks in tech tree, top five worst, top five best premiums and collectors, top five worst premium, premiums and collectors to finish out my top five series. So stay tuned for all of those, but let's jump straight into this. All right, the sitting at number five, we have the Dracula. So we're just gonna tap on this here. I am using Blitzhanger because I don't have all of these tanks. <laughs> so, not really. Can't really make a video about stuff you don't have. Uh, let me just get rid of those annoying ads. No, I don't want you. All right. It is sitting at 1,250, um, you know, HP. It's got that... Uh, why am I... I'm talking this like as a review. Okay. Sorry. Um, now, the reason the Dracula... I picked this as number five is easiest to play is... Well, it's definitely probably not the easiest tank out there to play... It's just so much fun. It is so much fun to play, and you just cruise around the battlefield having a ball. Now, as you all guys know, you know probably exactly what this tank is and what it does. If you don't, you're probably very, very new to the game, or you just don't know too much news about the game or anything like that, or watch too many YouTube videos. But I'm going to say it just real quick anyway, in case you're that person. <laughs> and, um, you know, you've got great speed and... A very pretty good gun. I mean, it's a fun gun. And the real thing about this is the RAM capability. It has a great power to weight ratio. So you are able to RAM basically stuff that you would think you couldn't, but still to do tons of damage. So, well, it's got pretty much a, a pretty good amount of hit points, especially usually um, run the extra hit points on it. And it can really have some fun. So, yeah, that's why this is the uh, top. Uh, top number five in the easiest tanks to play. So, coming in at number four is its look alike, uh, not look alike, is its <laughs> rival technically, the Hellsink. Um, it's a very, very good tank as well. Came in at the same time as the Dracula for, I think it was 2016 Halloween event, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a very good tank. Um, while the Dracula is good, um, it's more fun. Uh, the Helsink is probably more overpowered, but the Dracula is definitely more fun. But this tank is a lot easier to play because it does have more armor and a better gun. This tank has um, pretty good, I mean, the armor profile is nothing like to mm, do like insane with, but it, it's pretty troll and it's got some weird angles on it, which makes it bounce quite a bit. So, well, it is a double barrel gun. It's basically like a two-shot autoloader, but they shoot at pretty much the exact same time. You can occasionally miss with one of your shells, but it is a very good tank all around um, with a very good gun. That is why that is number four. Coming in at number three, this one, you knew it would make the list. You know it. You hate it. The Smasher. Yes, of course. How can you not have a top five best of something and not have the smasher on it unless it is only tech tree? Uh, sell price twenty five hundred. Uh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Uh, well, actually, no, because then everybody in the game would have it, and tier seven and eight and six would be absolutely run. Never mind. Uh, but that would be nice if I could get it for that much. But you all know what this tank is: the dirt monster, the K tier seven KV two on steroids. Um, this tank is absolutely insane, probably one of the most overpowered tanks in the game, if not the most overpowered tank in the game. Has great alpha, insane, um, <laughs> insane alpha actually, great alpha on your HE, your heat has a lot of pin, 250, the armor profile is actually um, pretty good, and the speed is not bad as well. This tank is absolutely ridiculous and can wreck everyone, and it is very easy to play. I just not pinning it at number one because I feel like the Smasher has had number one on a lot of things recently, and it doesn't really need to be there. There's plenty of other tanks that are easy to play. And so, yep, that's why that is number three. Now, coming in at number two, this tank is just insane, and 
It's so easy to play. You just roll up and destroy. It is the object, 252U. This tank is insane. I mean, your armor profile is one of the best, if not the best, tier for tier. I mean, it's insane. Your side armor, your rear armor, your turret armor, your whole armor, everything. All the armor on this is great. As well, it has um, a lot of HP and pretty nice alpha 420 on that gun. While the only thing this tank lacks is speed and um, DPM. The DPM is not horrific or anything like that. It's just not insane. And the speed is not bad at all. It's actually pretty fast for a heavy, especially with how much armor it has. But that's mostly just because of that. Um, that's just how most Russian heavies are. They have pretty good mobility. So this is why this is number number two on the easiest tanks to play. It is just one. It's so easy. It's awesome. Now, honestly, probably could have done this number one with the number one one you will see in a few minutes. But I decided to put it number two. But, um, you know, I could always change that. So now coming in for our honorable mentions, we have the WZ-120. If I can find it, there it is. WZ-120GFT. Um, now, the reason this is not on the list is just because it doesn't have a turret. That's it. It still can be COD'd, and that's literally it. If it had a turret, it would be probably, like, number two, number three, number one, somewhere around there. This thing is absolutely fabulous. Great armor profile, great mobility, insane gun, great penetration, good alpha, great DPM. I mean, everything about this tank is absolutely insane. One of the most deadly tanks on the battlefield. That is why this is make the honorable mentions. Coming for our second honorable mention, we're going to go back up to some uh, collector tank. Uh, wait, no, it's not collector. Never mind. Back up to some high tiers. We have the Chieftain Mark VI. Now, this tank is absolutely a beast at tier 10. One of the most overpowered tanks at tier 10, if not the most overpowered tier 10, besides the number one, which you probably already got, got a hint, that hint there, and you probably already figured it out. Now, this tank is very easy to play, um, but the reason it has not made the list is because the side armor is so weak. The side armor on this is absolutely paper and can be, can be HE'd all over, but the turret and the top of the hole are very strong. It does have that cupola as well, but that is actually pretty hard to hit. And, I mean, this tank, um, good, great turret armor, great gun depression, pretty strong hull as well, actually. The top, the upper glaces are pretty strong. Can get some nice ricochets just because of how angled it is. As well, the gun has a cheat that is basically Hesh, has great DPM, nice alpha, 460, and it as well has good speed. And all around, just a fantastic tank. That's why it is made on honorable mentions. Coming in for our last honorable mention, we go over back to tier 8. And if I can find it, there's so many tanks. <laughs> yes, the Action X. Here we are. Now, I made, um, this made the list because it's pretty similar to, I mean, the Chieftain. It's got great turret, pretty good mobility, and, and not too bad of a hole. But it does have very weak sights. This actually has, I think, stronger sights than the Chieftain, even though it's a tier 8. It can't really be HE'd that well. But the rear can be HE'd easily. Now, the turret on this is probably one of the strongest in the game. I mean, even the back of the turret is hard to pin. It is absolutely a beast at hold down, along with its great gun depression, great um, great uh, DPM on that. That gun is just a great gun. Along with pretty strong hull. I mean, the lower plate's bad, but the upper plate's not too bad. And it has good mobility as well. That is why it has made the last of the honorable mentions. Now, coming in for the first spot, you probably guessed it after the Chieftain MK6, but if you haven't already, it is the T22 Medium. Yes, I have chosen the T22 Medium as the easiest premium slash collector tank to play in the game, and it it's really, it's just a great tank all around. I mean, you have insane armor profile, one of the most troll in the game. Your turret is absolutely amazing. Your own mobility is absolutely amazing. Your gun depression, while it is not a ton, let's see down, look at this. If I can find it. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is the gun depression? It is only six degrees. That is basically the only downside of this tank is not very much gun depression. But other than that, you have that great armor profile. I mean, absolutely amazing, super troll, great mobility, great gun. It's got amazing damage per minute, 
penetration on it is not bad as well, along with the accuracy, which is very good. It's basically like a T628, but faster and more armor. Um, it's just absolutely an amazing tank all around. So that is why it's made number one on the easiest tanks to play in, um, out of premiums and collectors. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me if you think I missed any or which order they should have been, if they should be different or anything like that. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.